Hi, I'm Cheryl. I have a nice um, Any Occasion card to show you this time. And it's got, got butterflies and gold brads. This is about as close as I get to a grunge card. That's one of my ambitions. Is I just love to see all the, the grunge cards with just layers and layers of stuff on them. And I don't know. Every time I try to do one, it looks like I just rummaged around my trash bin and and just um, piled it all on a card. So that's something I'm working on, and this is this is step one, I guess you'd say. So this is what we're going to need to make this card. Like I said, this could be for any occasion. Um, I suppose it could even be for a um, a man um, if they if they don't mind getting butterflies on their card and I don't think they would so this is what we need we need a piece of early espresso card stock and this is our card base so it's five and a half by eight and a half and it's scored and folded at four and a quarter then we need two pieces of whisper white that are five by three and three quarters. The one piece will be for our inside. The other piece is for the card front and I've already embossed it because this is just standard embossing um, for whatever sandwich your particular die cut machine uses. You just run run it through and so I've already done the embossing on that and then we also need a piece of tip top tote one by three and three quarters and that uh, is also embossed and um, again just standard embossing nothing special about it and then you need just a few piece, little pieces of um, the very vanilla uh, that will be for our butterflies for the front so we're using the Papillon potpourri stamp set and we'll be using these two detailed um, butterflies the larger one and then the smaller one and I'm using the bitty butterfly punch and the elegant butterfly punch but if you don't have these punches um, then just get out your little fussy cutting scissors and just fussy cut them so that's no problem. I just like the punches. It makes things so quick and easy. So, oh, I don't want to put them too far away. And then I have a Darius embossing folder. And this is called uh, Script Background. And it's all just script. It's actually um, is Love Is. And it's Love Is Not self-seeking love is it you know there's a whole thing about about love love never fails love is patient so but it's just a background script most people don't bother to read them I I just read everything so I did so we have the er, we need our early espresso ink and our delightful Dijon and I have some gold ribbon. We'll need about three inches of that. And let me cut a little piece off there. Let's see, three inches. One, two, three. So I'll have that off on the side here. And this is a ribbon tip. Save these plastic things. You can just wrap them back around and seal it up. And you notice I put a little black mark here. That's the way I know. You see the little black mark? I know that's where the end of my plastic is. And now I can put it away and it's not going to it's not going to come unspooled in my drawer. We'll need some stampin' dimensionals. Um, got my little pokey tool. We're going to need that pokey tool. I have some little 
These are little mini gold brads. I would have liked to have used, um, you know, like the upholstery tacks, but I don't have any and I didn't want to go and buy any. So I have the sharp scissors. I've already used it for my purpose. I cut my ribbon with it so I can put them away. I don't need them out here. And that, oh, and a sponge dauber. We need a sponge dauber. I think I got everything now. It'll certainly be down on the list if I miss something. So let's get started. We'll do the, oh, I know what else I need. I need my aqua painter. So we're going to use that on the butterflies. So I'll need my early espresso and my butterfly stamps. We want to stamp two of the small butterflies. And one of the large ones. And all three of them, that's early espresso I'm using. Let's see. There we go. I'm going to close that up for the moment. We'll be using that again later to do with our sponge dauber. Okay, so now I have my delightful Dijon, and I already have a little puddle going here, but I'll show you how to do that. A lot of people don't know. You just take your, your ink pad and give it a good squeeze there, and then open it up, and there we go. We have a little ink palette here. Alright, I want to make sure my I don't want my my pen to be very wet. I just want the bristles to be moistened because I want to pick up quite a bit. I want that um, delightful Dijon to be quite dark. So I'll start with the large butterfly and you know, let me see let me see if I can move the camera down without making you sick. Without wiggling around a lot. There we go. Okay, this might this might be a little nicer for you to see. Okay. So get a nice amount of that delightful Dijon. I'm just gonna go down the butterfly's body and just pull out from the center. I'll pick up some more and just pull out. We're not coloring it in all the way. We just want, want a little bit of that golden, uh, kind of that golden color on the butterfly. And the delightful Dijon works really nice for that and plus it picks up a little of the brown from the early espresso and gives us a good golden color for these butterflies. And we're going to do the same thing for the little ones. We go down the body and then we're just going to pull out from there. And that's that. And our third one. And this will lighten as it dries, just a little bit. So right now it's probably looking pretty dark to you, but I promise it will dry. Now let me just clean up my, my aqua painter and we're done with that. I can cap that and put that away. And we're also done with the delightful Dijon now. We will want to keep our early express little around though, because like I said, um, we're gonna we're gonna be using that. And I'm gonna put my butterflies aside just to let them dry just a little bit before I punch them out. So now we'll get our two emboss pieces our tip-top tote and very vanilla 
and our sponge dauber. This ribbon just keeps getting in my way. Okay, so ink it up. I like to really get that worked into my sponge off on my the side here on my um, silicone mat. And we're just going to go all along the edges here with the early espresso. We can do that all four sides. I think I need a little more ink there. And a little bit more over here, I think. And then I just, just very lightly, I just like kind of dusted it. I guess you call it just a little bit over just a little bit of the background here. Not a lot, just a tiny bit. And then we'll do our piece of tip top taupe the same way. Yeah, we really want to work on, on grunge cards. It says, I don't know why they I just like them so much. Maybe because it's so hard for me to do. I'm going to master it. And then we'll do a grunge card on one of the videos. And now, on this one, I put just, I put more, a little more of that, um, early espresso from the sponge dauber in the background. And close that up and I need something to wipe that little spot up there. That way I won't get it somewhere I don't want. Okay, so now we'll punch our butterflies out. We have this ready. Oh, you know what? What did I do with my little sponge dauber? Oh, there it is. I I wanted to do a little bit of that on the inside of the card, too. So this is the other piece of, um, of five by three and three quarter inch very vanilla paper. I almost forgot to do this. Which, it wouldn't have been any great tragedy, but it, I just thought it'd be nice to have a little something something on the inside. Okay, so now that's all done. I can put that aside. Don't need the sponge dauber anymore. Okay, so I have my little bitty, bitty butterfly punch. And these are nice. They have that little latch that closes up. And I think they're getting rid of this one. Um, Stampin' Up! is doing their discontinued things. So I think this I think the bitty butterfly is on the list. So we just line that up and punch it out. Let me do that with the other little bitty one. And then I'll switch punches, close this one up. So nice and neat, they stack nicely. And you see I put a label on them telling me what they are, so I can just I can just stack them up like this. And I quick and easy access. Okay, so we'll do the big butterfly now. Same deal, you just put it in the in the punch here and line it up. I don't have much um, on either side here to guide it in so I'll just have to 
move it with my finger. Okay, that looks good. It always scares me just a little bit when I punch things out They because they jump, you know. Alright, anyway, you know what? We're ready to put our card together. Alright, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put... I'm going to put brads in the corners of this piece. This is the piece that's been embossed that will go on the front of our card. And you're probably wondering why I'm getting a stamp set out. But um, these stamps come and there's like waste material here. I'm going to use that to back my paper so I can poke holes with my paper piercer. Some things it's good. It's good to be a um, a pack rat. They come in handy. You're gonna want to come in like a quarter inch in from either edge. Okay. So right, right about there is where we're gonna put our dots, our little holes for our brads. So if you feel you need to measure it. But I'm just going to eyeball them because I think I can get get close enough that on each of the corners without measuring. So in right about there. And right about right there. And the same on here. Okay. See, I'm pretty good. If you notice, there's really only one hole here. I was lining the edge of, of the paper up with the, the edge of the stamp waste. And uh, I got it pretty good. But like I said, if you don't feel comfortable with that, then by all means, measure it. That's what they gave, gave us rulers for. Okay, so let's get some brads out. We'll put the brads in. Now I'll need one for each corner. An alternative to doing each of the corners, I was thinking, and I don't know why I didn't do it on this card, but if you tore the edge, this would be cool too. If you tore the edge and then embossed it and then did your um, your sponge sponging all around the outside and then instead of putting brads in the corner you could a you could put a brad on either side of this um, this banner here. And my camera's not not good. There we go. Let's get it over this way more. I wasn't watching the video, so I hope I hope I was in the video for most of this. So okay, let's put the brads in. Put our four brads. And this would have been hard to do if we hadn't poked holes first. Because it's... It takes a little bit to put them in even with the holes. I'm putting them in and then you'll notice I'm positioning the legs of them so that they won't show off the... out the edge. We don't want our little bat brad legs showing. Okay. So we got 
those all in place. Let me just adjust them a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. Looks good. Let's turn that one that way. There we go. And then we'll attach our tip top tote piece. And bear in mind that because there's lettering in the embossing, you want to make sure that you put put it the proper way. Okay, so we put our piece of tip top tote about an inch up from the bottom. And we're ready for our butterflies. Well, you know what? I think I'll attach this to the front. Now nah, I'll do the butterflies. There's six of one, half dozen of the other. We're going to bend our butterflies up to give them a little dimension. But on the other hand, we're going to use dimensionals to attach this to the front. So either way, we have, we're going to have to be careful at some step. So I just put my nail on this at the side of the butterfly and turn the wings up so that on the bottom you have this nice little flat area to glue it. Okay, so we do that on all the butterflies. It's the same thing on the little ones. Just put your thumbnail alongside the body and then you have your nice little flat area. Yeah, I'm going to put the, put the um, dimensionals on first and stick it to my card base. I just decided. So I'm going to put a dimensional right on each of those brads. That will keep the keep the legs from moving in the future and now I'll put let's see I'll put one here in the middle each of the sides and I think a couple a couple in the very center here too Peel those off. Yeah, this um, Papillon Potpourri set is on the retiring list. I can't imagine. They're getting rid of butterflies. I mean, come on. You can't go wrong with butterfly stamps, right? Butter I figure butterflies and flowers. I have to say though they've got um, they've got some nice background stamps coming out. There's one it's music notes. I really like that one. And another one it looks like um, looks like a sheet of burlap. Okay, make sure the card opens right. Okay, I've got that right. They have another one. It looks like a sheet of burlap with like the edges fringed. It's very cool. Then there's another one and it looks like that grunge background that you see so often where they, they stamp all kinds of stamps and like postmarks and things. But it's all, it's all on the stamp already. Okay, so now we can put our butterflies on. Just put some Tombow right on the body part. And the big one goes on the tip top tope. And then 
and we'll put a little one right about here, heading the other direction, and another little one heading off that way at the top. And I'm going to use my pokey tool to make sure that it's it's stuck down good. Okay. So that's done. Oop, that's not what I wanted. Oh, I need it out anyway. And then we have our piece of ribbon. And we're not going to tie a bow. I'm just going to tie a knot. And I'll fiddle around with it a little bit. So I want one of my diagonals one way and one the other the other way. And I don't think I need to trim this down. This looks about just about right here. I'll scrunch the center in a little bit. So I'm just tweaking it a little to make it look a little look to my eye nicer. And I put Tombow glue on the original, but you know what? I'm going to use one of my little, little dimensional dots. Not because I want it popped up, but because for on these funny kind of... Um, Of ribbon ribbons that are kind of it's like pla almost plasticky. It um, doesn't seem to want to stick real well with Tombow or in anything else other than um, hot glue. And I try to avoid my hot glue gun. So there we go. We've got our little bow on there, and that's it for the outside of the card. And we're just going to put our our little piece here, this piece here that we've sponged a little bit. Now, you can attach this with with the um, with the um, Tombow glue now, but because we're leaving it blank for the moment, when when you decide what occasion you'd like to use this card for you might just want to and this is what I'm going to do you might just want to tuck it inside the card and then when the time comes you can stamp it and attach it if you attach it now when the time comes to stamp it um, well you might make an oops on it and then the entire card is ruined so just I'm just going to tuck it inside and when I have the occasion to use it, whether it's for a birthday or an anniversary or just a hi, how you doing kind of card, then, then I'll stamp it and attach it. So I hope you enjoyed this video today and I hope you, I had everything in the camera view once I brought the camera in closer. But if you've liked this video, then be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. If you'd like to shop with me for any of my the Stamping Up products that I've used today, then you can do that either through my Facebook page or my website. And as always, I'll have all the materials listed down below that I've used today. So y'all take care, stay safe, and happy stamping.